Hello, this is my submission for the sorting algorithms checkpoint. I believe this is the last checkpoint, so let's get started. So the first question um, gives us an array of 10 integers, gives us the initial array, the array during execution, and then the sorted result. So basically the question asks which algorithms could we be observing? And it wants me to explain my reasoning for all five choices. So naturally, as you can see, I did them. So basically, I went through each of these choices, starting at the top, going to the bottom, sorting the array, checking what it looks like during the sort, and looking at the sorted result. Some of them I stopped prematurely because I realized that they just weren't going to be part of the answer, just looking at what it looked like during execution. So for the first one, um, I did insertion insertion sort and I did the entire one and it just did not match up to the during execution thing so I was like no process of elimination next was selection sort and knowing how selection sort works you know I grabbed them in and put it at the top of the or the put it at the leftmost um, part of the array and that was like the first step that I took and I realized that during execution was not going to match up to selection sorts process because the min was already where it was supposed to be. So I was like, no, that's not gonna work. So then in place heap sort, I also did this. It gave me a little bit more grief, so I had to do it on a different page. Um, but basically as I was executing that one, um, it matched up with the during execution example. So I was like, that's definitely the answer. But just to be fair, I went and I did merge sort two, which took forever and I kind of did all that. Um, and obviously it didn't work. Um, well, it did work. It just didn't match up with the during execution example. And then I did quick sort um, using a pivot and that also just did not um, work with the during execution. So that's how I got to my answer of in place heap sort. Basically just doing all of them. So the next one says the Java implementation of quick sort has an optimized base case. Rather than stop when the array size reaches one, the base case where Java quick sort occurs when the size of the array is less than 47, and then it switches over to insertion, insertion source. So then this question asks, why did the developers implement this optimization? So basically it wants to know my reasoning for all four answer choices. So again, process of elimination. First one says insertion sort is a stable sort, while quick sort is an unstable sort. Um, so I was, looking you know just back through my notes and like insertion sort is indeed um a stable sort and quick sort is kind of unstable so this is true but it's not relevant to the problem because right here it's basically asking about the size of the array and why it switches so it's true but it's not relevant so that's why i did not select it the second one says insertion sort has a better best case asymptotic runtime um this is false, so I just didn't click it. Um, insertion sort can sort in place while quick sort cannot sort in place. This is also not true. Quick sort can sort in place if done correctly. Um, so, and then the fourth one says in experimental analysis, insertion sort is faster than quick sort on small arrays. And this is true, which would make sense. That's why I clicked it because that's why the um, developers would switch to um, insertion sort when the size of the array is less than 47. So once the size of the array is smaller, after using quick sort, they switch to insertion sort because insertion sort works on smaller arrays better. And it's faster on smaller arrays. So that's why I clicked that. Okay, so the third question is basically just saying insertion sort um, maintains the sorted portion of the array. Each iteration of the insertion sort expands the sorted portion by considering the next unsorted element and it's doing it in its proper position. So then it explains why um, worst case, um, the insertion sort can be bad. And then it gives the option of tree sort and basically gives me four choices for an answer and wants me to, oh shit, sorry. I just dropped my phone. Um, it makes, it asks me to go down all the answers and say if they are true or false. So that's what I did. So the first one says for, an ascending sorted array, insertion sort is probably faster than tree sort. Um, this is true just knowing how insertion sort works if it is indeed ascending. So going from low to high 
it probably is faster. So in here we would have probably the best case runtime of insertion sort, which would probably be um, theta of n in that case. Um, and the best case runtime for um, tree sort would probably be theta of n log n. So in that case, it would be better to do insertion sort. Um, the next time, or sorry, the next question is for a descending reverse sorted array, insertion sort is probably faster than tree sort. Um, this isn't true, just knowing how insertion sort works. If it is descending, it just takes a forever and the worst case runtime to do it. And the worst case runtime for insertion sort, I believe is eta times n squared. So it takes actually longer, so that's false. Um, and then the third one I also said was false because it says tree sort is an in-place um, sorting algorithm and that's not true. So I did not click it. And then the first, the fourth one, sorry, I am messing everything up. says the worst case asymptotic runtime for tree sort is better than that of insertion sort. And that is true because the worst case asymptotic runtime for tree sort um, would probably be theta of n log n but the worst case asymptotic runtime for insertion sort would be theta of n squared. So I would say that tree sort has a better um, worst case runtime. So that's my submission. I hope it all makes sense. I'm sorry that I went a little bit over the time limit, but there you go. Thanks.